welcome. Today is Thursday, so I am going to cut some soap. And the soapery is so as soon as I do a soap box tour for you. And this is my soap box I usually have with me in my car. And from now on, all of the soaps are going to be $5 each. And then I do have some specials. Um, I have six bars that I always regularly have, which I'm going to go over with you. First of all, when I'm done, we're going to cut this goat's milk soap, and it has the addition of argan oil. Okay? All of the soaps are soap, excuse me, are lye and oils. Okay? So first of all, we have the original bubbly, which is a little bit more than $5. The oils are coconut oil, olive oil, and palm oil. This is my most expensive bar. The super fats are extra virgin olive oil, glycerin, and coconut oil. It has an orange scent to it. This is really great for ladies shaving. It has an orange scent to it. All of the other bars, the oils are coconut oil, soybean oil, and manteca. And this is our lavender oatmeal soap. It has a mica swirl and lavender essential oil. Next we have the Black Eyed Susan soap. It has mustard seeds in it. No, I'm just kidding, it's poppy seeds. And it's named after my mother, Susan, who is the original patchouli fan. It has patchouli and orange essential oil in it and that wonderful earthy smell. I already went over the goat's milk soap. The goat's milk soap has no fragrance oil or essential oil in it. Next we have the honey oatmeal soap and I have it in a bag so it doesn't have any fragrance oil which I, I realized I made a mistake on this it says fragrance oil on my label but there is not fragrance oil in this so I'm gonna have to redo the labels it has a generous amount of honey and honeycomb it has a little bit of castor oil and I claim that soap cleans but when my daughter used it on my grandson, it got rid of cradle cap. So that was her experience in Rochelle's opinion. The other bar that we always have available is the Fruit Looped Soap. And it has some special ingredients in it. Of course, the smell is very fruity. It smells like a, a well-known cereal. It has mica in it, but it also has the addition of unsweetened applesauce and chili powder and a little bit of vitamin E. It, it's not hot feeling on your skin, um, but the chili powder does give it a little bit different of a smell and um, a look, So, but it's not spicy feeling at all. So those are the six bars that we normally have. And if you order a sampler of all six bars, um, I will ship it to you for free for $30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That is correct. So shipped is $30, including shipping in the United States. Now we have a few specialized bars that are left. Very few, so you need to order them right away. We have the sandalwood soap, which has um, the addition of mango butter in the super fats. It has sandalwood fragrance oil, and it has real sandalwood powder in it. We have a couple of bars of the Water War soap left, which smells like a baby. And um, nothing. And then for um, Mother's Day or Father's Day, for Mother's Day, we have the Love Dazzler, which has a pink mica blob in there. <laughs> and this is Love Spell Type. So if you're familiar with that, that's what it smells like. And this is my new men's soap, which is called, it's mahogany teak wood type. 
Now, I made this especially for my 17-year-old son, Josiah, and it has a lot of bentonite, a lot. It has bentonite clay in it. It has oatmeal in it. It has a different feeling, and my son just really enjoys this formula. I created it especially for him. So that is what we have available on the soaps, and you can comment to order. And right now I'm going to do my favorite part, which is take my goat milk soap out of the mold. Now when I make a batch of soap, I use about 88 ounces of oils and combine it with lye water. My husband made this mold for me, and I think it's over an 8 pound loaf of soap. And this is my absolute favorite part is taking it out of the mold. So you get to join me for that. Glad you're here. So this is freezer paper. And that's how I can just lift it right out of the mold. Next to it, I have the cutter, and I'm going to have you join me for just a minute on the cutting. Over here on my cutter, and here's here's Morris, the sopery cat, waiting for his snack. Morris, do you need dinner? Dinner, Morris. Obviously. So Morris is happy. He's got his snack. So this is my cutter. And this is going to make about 24 bars of soap for the batch. I'm going to cut off a soap scrap sample off of both ends. It's just a creamy white bar. And so this is where I, I have to make the bars to weigh. I measure them at 115 grams, and then I mark them at 95 grams, so when they've lost weight, they still weigh 95 grams. After I cut the bar, I'll go around and show you how to do it. So I have it lined up here. Slow and steady wins the race. And I'm gonna take my bar here see what we got. 126, so that is big enough. That counts. Bonus bar. I might try to wiggle it down just a little. Let's see how that... It's not an exact scientific method here. But as long as I'm giving you a deal, it works for me. It works for me. So you get a generous bar. So I think you get the idea on that. I'm just going to carry on and cut bars. Now I do have a special announcement to make and that is that very soon, as soon as I cut these bars and take them over there, Good Life Nutrition Center in Marion, Illinois, it's actually on Frontage Road across from KFC, will be carrying um, some of my soaps and they will be $6 each at Good Life and you can stop by there during their working hours which I don't know off the top of my head, sometime between 10 and 6-ish most days and on the weekends they're open. So um, if you can't get a hold of me, you can certainly stop by there and pick up some of your soap from there. And that is my first uh, wholesale account. I'm so excited. So I'm just going to, Morris has had his snack and, and I'm going to carry on cutting my bars of soap and get those labeled and we'll call this call this a good Thursday. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you have any questions about soap making or making goat's milk soap or anything else, you can email me at penny 
underscore Nelson at yahoo.com, P-E-N-N-I-E, -N -N -E, and I, I could possibly help you out. Okay. Love you. Morris. Morris, do you love them as well? Morris. Mm-hmm. <laughs>